Hi, everyone. Greetings, my friends. Jim. And Dave. Beer Review. I don't know what we're doing. My wild and crazy guy. <laughs> <laughs> We've got... Uh, Dave. On the, yes. What's on tap? Uh, what's on tap is... Dula Khan. Khan! What? After the fearsome headless goblin of Irish war, our reincarnation is sim is extremely seasonal, sessionable, massively hopped, and devilishly delicious. Pronounced Dulan Khan. Yep. Dulan Khan lives with his dad and mom. No, no. After the fearsome headless goblin of Irish lore, our reincarnation is extremely it's sensible, it's massively hopped as a devilish, delicious Hello. American IPA. Hello. The Do you know, it's Hello. alcohol is 5.6% alcohol by volume, Dave. Yeah, you guess what else it is. It's something else. Best served at 45 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit in a goblet or imperial pint glass. Imperial pint glass? Do you have any imperial pint glasses? It's also IB, IBUs. IBUs? Or 70. I think this says unfiltered real ale. I hate fake ales. Well, that makes a fake and a real. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. Well, let's move right along. Do we have any lore? I have never heard of this company, and I've never heard of this beer. Lavery Brewing Company. Never heard of it either. The what brewing company? Lavery. L-A-V-E-R-Y. Oh, Lavery. Okay. They look like they have a really good Imperial French Ale at 11.5 ABV. Ooh. Why are those making it over here? This is where are they located at? Erie, PA. Oh, well, the guys travel all the way across the state. Penn Beer Company, eighteen twenty-five East Twelfth Street, Erie, PA. Oh, I thought you said eighteen twenty-five. They have one in Pittsburgh. They have one in State College. Oh. They have one in New York, PA. So it's kind of they like Appalachian. They got a PA. couple different locations. They got Williamsport, PA. They got Hamburg, PA. They got Lancaster, New York. They got Morristown, New Jersey. So it sounds like they're kind of like one of those places that has served food and also have a brewery built in. Yeah. I'm guessing. Me. Who's this guy? Slante? 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 Slantra. I signed his name there. Sinatra. No. <laughs> Slantra. Anyway, moving right along. All right. Well, never heard of them. Let's see how they're less... You believe after 300 some beer reviews, we still haven't heard a lot of things yet. Oh, you, there's all kinds in Europe that never make their way over oh, here. So. I know. I mean, I watched one of the guys on YouTube. He's got, he looks like Santa Claus, and he's done over 1,500 so far. Well, we're getting there. Yes, we'll, we'll get there. One, one beer day. at a time. All right, one well. Day. As long as I keep on treating myself like this, I'll get there someday. Unfiltered. A little foggy. Light on yes. the SRM scale. Yes. Decent amount of uh, head here. That one thing. Smells good. Ooh, smells very good. Little, little, little pine. Little pine. Little pine. Little lemon, little citrus. Okay, so it's hop forward, as a pale ale should be. Yeah. Of course, we don't, the description doesn't say if it's East Coast, West Coast, English. No, it does not say that. Oh, well. It's okay. Well, judging by the pineiness, I'm guessing West Coast, but we'll find out. Cheers. Cheers. Smooth going down. Oh, there we go. Oh, bitterness. Oh. oh. I didn't taste any bitterness. On the back end? Yeah, okay. Oh, little bit. Resiny. Resiny, a little dank. Not bad. Dank. Yeah. Lieutenant Dang. Lieutenant Dang. Resiny. Mm -hmm. Definitely Resiny. Mm -hmm. we, have this, we have this guy at work now. His last name is Dang. Every time I think of his name, I think of, you know, Forrest Gump. Lieutenant Dang. Lieutenant Dang. I hope Lieutenant that. Dan. No G on the end. Dang. He called him Dang. Did he? Yeah, when he was upset. He said dang. He said dang. He said dang when he was like... I don't dang. remember that. When he was running after him, it sounded like that, you know? Oh, okay. I can see that. Ten dang. Ten dang. Or, no, what I was thinking of is a Lego movie where, like, oh, they're attacking you. you got to get to the Batmobile. <laughs> dang it. And then one woman was just like, let's go to my invisible jet. <laughs> dang it. That was a good movie. Yeah, fun. Fun movie. Well, this is a fine IPA. Another I liked it. Finally, we need more of these Pennsylvania companies that make good beer. Mm. Ah, mm. Mm. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I'd buy it. I don't want to buy a lot of it. I'd buy it in a, in a, so a six-pack six pack or a variety pack. 
as long as the other variety ones. pack would be even better. Yeah, the variety pack yeah, had that French you know, stuff it's, in there. It's it's yeah, it's a very strong flavor. Um, Devil's pumpkin. If you own. love your hop forward IPAs, well, you'll probably like this one. I don't think it's too. Uh, they mention what hops they use. Okay, named in homage to the spring homage? planting festivals of Ireland and Scotland. That's the wrong one. Sorry, I apologize. It looked like the same label. Walk, walk. Doing. Dulacon is an is an in your face, front and center West Coast style American IPA. Did I not say West Coast style? West Coast. I suppose I'm learning something. Brewed with pale Cara Vienna and biscuit malts, and hopped, and dry hopped, to seventy IBUs with Simcoe. I thought maybe it was Simcoe. That's why I wasn't saying anything. Amarillo and Columbus at only 5.6 ABV. This beer packs a huge hop flavor and aroma without a lot of bite from the bitterness and alcohol. Named after the Irish Grim Reaper, this beer will impress and astound. Wow, naming a beer after something that takes your soul away. That's great. Yeah, I thought maybe there was some Simcoe in this, but I don't think it, it's, it's definitely, it's probably what gives it the Core. lingering bitterness, I would say. Core. What? Yes. But as far, this is, you know, this is why I try to keep an open mind. I have had some beers with Simcoe in it that I liked. Um, all, more often than not, I don't like, but this is the one, they did it right this time. Whatever they did, they did it right. It's Puff, the beer cat. They have a beer called Death or Glory. Yum, yum, yum. Malt, pale chocolate, rye, roasted barley, golden naked notes, mm. dark crystal, and biscuit. Yeah, there's a little bit of a kind of a. I can you tell there's Simcoe much in it. Simcoe I don't guy, like though. the Simcoe part. Probably what's going on there. It kind of has a kind of a cat urine kind Double of. Double bird, holiday ale, imperial porter. But I'd probably give this mm, 6.5. I'd give it 7. Okay, fair enough. I'm giving an IPA more than he is. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can kind of see a seven, but no. the bitterness is a little bit too lingering for me. But if you love West Coast Styles IPA, I think you'll like this one. It's been growing on me. Yeah. It's cut six months or so. Well, you know, you develop a palate. Like, I really developed a palate for Stouts and Porters because of you. Yes. So. And how about those Belgian triples and, and quads? We don't get enough Belgian triples and quads, to be honest with you. I know. We see Nick some quads. I just stopped by. Oh, uh, man. I wish we had a bottle to review of the uh, Trap, mm. La, La Trappist. La Trap? La Trap Trappist? I think that's what it's called. The Trap yeah. Trappist Quad. Oh, that was so good. There's only two bottles left when I was at Wegmans, and I, I could tell it was popular because all the other beers on the shelf were still pretty well stocked to the front of the shelf. <laughs> so, whereas I, that one was, I had to reach back to the bot back because obviously a lot of people were grabbing it. Mm -hmm. All right, so there you have it. Um, yes, pretty good. good. Yeah, like definitely that. a yeah. decent beer. Um, way to go, guys. Happy to meet your product for the first time. Yes, I was pleasantly surprised, and uh, yes, I was happy. Great. Well, there you have it. There you go, 7, 6.5 for me. Generally likable, um, definitely viable. You know, I don't know, like, again, a whole case. Well, maybe if you have a lot of guys come over like I did. Six-pack. So, there you have back. it. So anyway, on to our wrap-up. To wrap up, we'd like to do, obviously, a little warning to people watching the videos that you must drink responsibly. When I say that, I like to refer to the Surgeon General's warning that says that pregnant women should not drink alcohol due to the risk of birth defects. Take care of yourself. Yes. Also, please, don't drink and drive. In other words, drinking alcohol may impair your ability to Very operate bad. heavy machinery and drive a car and can cause health problems. Very bad. And we would love you to give us a comment. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Up, down, thumbs, left, right. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It was, it was a waste of time. We helped you out. We Either way, we'd love to hear from to you. you. Subscribe to the channel, of course. And as we always say at the end of these things in recent months, is that the reason we've tried all these different kind of beers and tell you about our experiences drinking them is that we believe that you should drink great beers. Have a good lab or two. With your friends. There you go. And please, think of us as your friends. Yes, I The friends that you never meet or talk to. Yes, but I will talk to you if you give me a call, yes. but you don't know my number. So and if you I will post a picture in the comment of a cat with a beer, we will send you a free bottle cat. We will send you puff. No. We will send you this new car air freshener. Smell. New car smell.
Look at that. Okay, it wants me to pet her. Pet, pet me. Pet me, she says. Yes, right there. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, get the hell out of here. Okay, see. No, no, listen. After, after, say uh, bye, after 80 years of not spotting one, officials at the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service announced Tuesday, June 16, 2015, and has declared the eastern cougar extinct. Ah. Uh. That's just not right. Bye-bye, Puff. Oh, somebody says, oh, there once in a while, it's period in bars. <laughs>